Nearly every university community we work with is struggling with student housing issues. While every community is unique, typically these issues center on one of two things. One of the issues we typically run into is the widespread conversion of uh, single family housing stock in older neighborhoods for student rentals. This scenario typically leads to community concerns about neighborhood character and historic preservation, uh, occupancy rates, um, parking, as well as concerns about uh, constraints on the overall housing supply and the pricing in the community. The second issue we're seeing more in university communities is off-campus student housing projects that are out of scale with the surrounding neighborhoods. Off-campus housing models have changed dramatically in the last 10 years. We're seeing much more urban, dense projects than we did in the past, um, not just in terms of the scale of the building, but in terms of the number of units in each building. Because many university campuses are located in the heart of the community and are surrounded by historic neighborhoods, uh, this trend towards bigger buildings and more units inherently leads to more friction with permanent residents. While the planning process can help facilitate a broader community conversation about these issues and test levels of support for potential solutions, many of the possible approaches to address them are regulatory. There are a number of zoning tools that we use, uh, we've been using to address some of these issues. With respect to this issue of converting housing stock in single family neighborhoods, I think one of the first things to remember uh, is, is that the core issue is uh, character protection. Care, the current physical character of these and, and social character of these single family neighborhoods. Tools we've, we've used have including limiting the number of cars that can be parked in the front yard, as well as uh, limiting the uh, on-street parking. Secondly, uh, some of the communities where we've worked have established neighborhood conservation districts that limit the size, the and character, physical character of these single family homes. Another tool that's been used uh, are provisions that regulate the size, uh, scale uh, of accessory dwelling units where in many instances uh, students will be housed. And then finally, several communities have actually just placed limitations on the number of units by uh, where students are located through distance, uh, distance requirements or just a quota system in one community. You know, with respect to this second issue, in other words, the advent of these large uh, student housing housing projects, that's a fairly new phenomenon. It's only happened, I think, in the last 10 years or so. And what we're talking about is projects that are very large, you know, eight to 10 stories uh, in size, and their mass and scale is very substantial. Of course, one of the issues to address this is pretty straightforward, uh, and that is just limiting the where they could be located. Uh, in a community through your zoning ordinance. In addition to that, a second tool is the use of design and form standards, which would control the height of these buildings, the mass of the buildings and scale of the buildings, uh, the roof treatment um, of the buildings and, and the number of bedrooms. But the idea here being to place uh, these types of controls to uh, limit the physical character in relationship to other development uh, in the community. Finally, uh, a couple of other tools we've used are transitional standards dealing with um, these types of buildings when they are adjacent to single family neighborhoods to protect the character of those single family neighborhoods. And then finally, uh, in some communities, the establishment of a discretionary review process, which provides the local government uh, discretion in negotiating these issues related to height, to scale, to mass, um, with respect to these uh, large student housing projects. I am Krista Hampton, Director of Planning and Development Services for the City of Columbia in South Carolina, and I want to share with you how we have addressed the student housing issue here in our community. We are home to the state's flagship research university, the University of South Carolina. It is located directly adjacent to our central business district and is embedded in the fabric of our city. As the university increased enrollment and new private dormitory products came online nationally, 
we struggled with whether and how to accommodate this new use and mitigate any potential negative impacts. At first, we simply did not permit a product that would exceed our occupancy limits of no more than three unrelated persons. This led to developers building complexes far from campus in the unincorporated county, which had its own negative impacts. After much deliberation, we adopted and later amended our code to create a private dormitory use that is permitted with conditions. The goal was to direct these developments to be located away from existing residential neighborhoods and place them in the commercial districts that were in need of development and revitalization. One of the first projects was a development we did not anticipate, the reuse of an office building in the heart of our main street that had been the headquarters of a large electric utility. It had sat vacant for years and a development team from Chicago proposed to convert it into an 851 bed private dormitory with a pool and amenity deck on top of the adjacent city parking garage. Opened in the fall of 2014, this redevelopment accelerated the revitalization of the street and the district and has proven to be a terrific asset. Important conditions in our code include spacing from residential zoning districts, bicycle parking, requiring an on-site manager, and a cap on the number of units that contain more than three bedrooms to provide for adaptability over time should the student population diminish. Each community has different conditions, citizen sentiment, and leadership, and will have a different response to the issue. While we still struggle with certain aspects of student housing, we have been fortunate to have developed a solution that accommodates this growing population in a manner that contributes to a revitalizing downtown. <laughs>